How does a community respond when tragedy strikes? Tonight, the people in Aiken County held a candlelight vigil for the two teens who died in a snowmobile crash earlier this week. Uh, Chris Burns has the story. Late in the afternoon, around 6 p.m. on Sunday, January 2nd, on this very trail, the Aiken community lost two teens. Ultimately, two snowmobiles ran into each other head on, and two children, two young adults, young men died. 16-year-old Isaac Fulton was pronounced dead on the scene, while 18-year-old Weston Justin was airlifted to Hennepin County Medical Center, where he later passed away on January 3rd. Anytime a community loses students or loses children, it's very difficult on the community. It's even more difficult when with for teenagers as they're dealing with the loss of friends. Tonight, the community of Aiken rallied together to help honor the teens by holding a candlelight vigil at the St. James Catholic Church. You know, in a community like Aiken, uh, people gather around and support those in times of need, and uh, obviously we're in a time of need. So uh, you saw yourself tonight, this church was completely packed, there was uh, seats were all full and standing room only to honor those children and, and uh, come together for those families. The turnout was spectacular. I mean, we had 500, probably a little more than 500 people in the church and out in the gathering space. A number that far surpassed the past year's expectations. However, when asking people about that large outcome, no one seemed to be too surprised because Isaac and Weston were loved by so many. Both Weston and Isaac were terrific young people who made friends everywhere they went. Two young men that were both well, uh, very well respected and adored in their communities. As emotion and light filled the church, the pastor couldn't help but notice the glow on the ceiling. He said he has no doubt the angels above us can see the love we're sending them tonight. Reporting in Aiken for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. A GoFundMe page for Weston Justin has been started and has raised around $10,000 already for the Justin family to help them cover financial burdens and medical expenses. If one is started for Isaac Fulton, we'll include the information on that in this story as well. You see the GoFundMe address on the bottom of the screen. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.